Hello everyone, Danai here from Danai's Electrical Services and today I have another video for you. It's been a while since I've been in front of the camera but for today's video it's hard to escape. I have to be here in front of the camera. And in today's video I will be telling you what a electrician should wear to work. So this is like a general um, breakdown of what an electrician should wear to work. It varies from job to job. So I'm just going to get right into it. Let's go. So I want to begin with the hat, the hard hat. If you are working in an industry settings, this is definitely a must. The hard hat is a must, right? But it varies from job to job, as I said before, right? So. You have to be the judge if you are working in an environment where you are prone to things falling, right, from above. If you are working in an environment where someone is working above you, right, there is the likelihood that things might fall. A hard that is a must, but it's not always a must for all electricians. As I said, it varies from job to job, right? Starting from top to bottom, I've went through the hard that. The next thing is the high visibility vest i would say this is a must and all electricians should wear this the purpose of a high visibility vest is for someone to easily see you or easily identify you right it's a shocking color right if someone is way across the road in a high visibility in a high visibility vest it's it's easy to see them right and also if you work from job to job uh it helps so someone can know that well that might be an electrician for instance let's say you get a call to a home you pull up to the house uh you enter to knock or whatever and someone see the vest they call an electrician their first assumption is that oh that might be the electrician if you didn't have a high visibility vest the likelihood of they saying you are the electrician is lower right the shirt these types of shirt these navy shirt very good for an electrician some of the reasons are they are very hard and rugged so, so they can manage the dirt and the rough work of an electrician right they can manage the dirt and it's rough right it's not easily to rip or tear right i love the color but in general if you just make sure you wear a shirt or top that has um that is very thick right thick in material right it's very um durable that is the word i'm looking for durable oh before i before i move on from the shirt you want to ensure that your shirt is dangling same thing for your eye visibility vest it shouldn't be dangling right it should be your size so it's not there is not enough room for things to get stuck on it and cause hazard right uh back to the pants you want to ensure that the pants is also durable right this very thick this is a very thick pants you also want to ensure that it is a dark colored pants right so it's good with the dirt right so durable thick dark colored durable thick dark colored that is it for the pants ensure that it is durable it is thick and it is dark colored right you don't want any pants that is too tight so you can hardly move in it when it's time to get in those small spaces you can't get in there when it's time to bend you can't bend so you want to ensure that the pants though thick it's flexible right before i go on to the hard boot i noticed in like the us that electricians would wear shorts I don't recommend that i don't recommend that because there is a lot of hazard as it relates to doing electrical work and wearing shorts don't recommend right i know summertime might be hot but i don't recommend the hard boot that is where we are now steel toe hard boot right there are some very good one on timberland you can get some very good one at timberland you want to ensure that it is steel toe and it is also electrically insulated right 
as an electrician you should not wear a hard boot that is not electrically insulated that is danger right there danger and you should not assume that all shoes are electrically insulated right get the one that is rated if this is your job you want to get the right stuff to do the job in the same way that you buy the correct tools and the right tools to get a job done you should wear the correct i don't want to use uniform the correct let's just say clothes right to get the job done right our correct gear gear is the right word the correct gears to get the job done right so steel toe shoes is a must electrically insulated as i said there are some very good ones on timberland make sure you get one so those are the general gears that an electrician would wear to work as i said there are some things that you can add and some things that you can take away depending from job to job right uh, just another tip as it relates to jewelry be very um be very limited on the jewelry right the dangling bracelets that's a no-no right those things are easily those things easily get trapped and can cause hazard right that's a no-no i love my jewelry but i have to tone down on it when, when it when it's time to do my electrical work right you can wear a watch right but make sure it is a watch that is not dangling it's firmly fit on your hand right ring i mean wedding band is i would say it's okay but i've had instances before where i'm wearing ring not a wedding band i'm wearing ring and the ring gets chopped something gets chopped between the ring and my finger so that is also a hazard so things like that you also want to be careful of so those are the general things guys if there is anything you would like to add or take away you can comment down below and we can discuss that whether i agree or disagree we can have that conversation in the comment section right how could i forget about this this is an electrician's glove this is very good oh my god i can't believe i forget about this maybe i should do a review on this sometime but because i hardly wear it probably that is the reason why i forget about it but this is good when you're doing those rugged work those rough work right especially when you're joined through wires very good very very good um the next thing is this hat right here this is what i wear when i'm outside in the sun working in those hot sun very good to have a hat like this one so <laughs> these are two main things that i forget uh let me know what else i might have forget so there you have it this was another video brought to you by Dana's electrical services for similar videos to these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Dana's electrical services thank you thank you thank you